Descript is a new type of editing software in which it allows you to edit your videos or audio the same as if you were editing a Word document. If you edit something in the script, then it would automatically apply that edit to your media. Because of that concept, it is super easy to use, especially for anybody that's getting started in audio or video editing. If you've ever written a paper, well, you probably will know how to use Descript. It has a bunch of great features, like auto transcription, removing filler words, overdubbing, which is typing into the script what you want to say, and a stock voice. We'll record the voiceover for you, like you are listening to right now. Or you can train Descript to create your own synthesized audio to create a personal overdub voice. It's super crazy where technology is going these days. There's screen recording, webcam recording, remote podcast recording, and so much more. So in this video, I'm gonna cover my top 10 favorite features about Descript. And if you're curious, you can actually download it for free in my description below. And if you ever wanna upgrade to the pro version, they even allow for a seven day trial period of that. And before I hop in, I wanna say that this video is sponsored by Descript, but personally, these are the top 10 features that stood out to me that I think can really help you with your editing workflow. Let's jump right in. Number one, let's start with the support and learning curve. Immediately when you open the project for the first time, there are tutorials that are hands-on and they let you use the program as you're learning. There's a plethora of neatly ordered and easy to digest text and video tutorials in their help section online. And the same goes for their YouTube channel. You can see that they're constantly improving their software and they keep you updated monthly with release notes. They have a Discord server community that you can interact with other Descript users, and they even give you a daily tips tab for whenever you open the program. Overall, I was up and running and editing inside the program in no time. Descript's whole jam is to edit your video or audio to text, so they have an amazing auto transcription cloud service built right into the program. And here's how you use it. I'm going to drag in this video interview file right into the composition view. It'll start processing the video as well as ask me to transcribe it. And I want to detect speakers, and there's two of us in here here, there's me and a guest. I have three ways that I can choose to transcribe this video. There's automatic, which only takes a couple minutes. The next one is white glove, and this is where they send it off to an actual person to transcribe your file. And then you can also import your transcript if you've already made one from someplace like rev.com. But I'm going to choose automatic and hit transcribe file. After a minute or so, I have my transcript. And after labeling the speakers, let me give you some basic examples of how to further edit the transcript within Descript. Any place that you put the playhead here on the script, it will move the playhead on the timeline. Another intuitive thing is that the words physically show up with the waveforms. Oh, I love that. It is so cool how they have that feature within Descript. It's like you can see a waveform and you see the word. That's the word actually. You see this? That's the word TV. It's so cool. So if I play from the beginning, and if you have to get used to prompter, I would just say the more you do it. So this is supposed to be the word prompter instead of <laughs> prompt her. In order to change that, if I highlight this, I want you to notice that it also highlights it down here on the timeline. I'm gonna hit the letter E on the keyboard and change this to the word prompter. Hit correct. And that change is reflected up here as well as down here on the timeline. Another neat feature is it will cycle through common punctuation on a word if you hold W and click that word. And it automatically capitalizes the next word if you switch it to a period. Descript has an amazing feature called remove filler words, which I'll show you right now. Here's um, like, you know, you can see that they're all underlined. Go up to this little wrench and do remove filler words. And right here are all of the filler words. And there's a couple variations of what you could do right here. You could delete the audio and the filler words from the transcript. You could delete the audio and replace it with a gap clip, which is just silence, which it automatically fills in your gap clips with room tone inside Descript, which is another really cool feature. Or you could do ignore. What ignore will do is delete the audio of the filler words, but it will leave the filler words in the transcript just in case you want to see those there. I'm just going to choose to delete them and just make the cuts. So apply to all and boom, it just made all of these edits in my script. And as you can see, while I'm talking, it's optimizing the edit boundaries, meaning that it's creating little crossfades so you don't get any pops and it's making these transitions between my cuts the best that they can be. If you wanna hear how that sounds, I'll show you these two edits. Say that. And then my parents thought I was a little odd. I was thinking myself in the bathroom with the, with the TV gone. I'd say it does a pretty good job. And you can always go back and adjust what it did if you needed to. It's a non-destructive editor, meaning that it keeps your files intact and you can always bring stuff 
back. Two more things you can do with the transcript is if you have a word that is constantly misspelled, like Descript, I could highlight this and change it, or I could go over here to the search bar and just look for every single time I said D space script, and it will find all of those, and I can do correct transcript and change all of them to Descript. Hit apply to all, and every single one of those has now been changed to the correct way of Descript. Now, if you have a word like that that you say often and you want it to get it right in the transcription from the get-go, all you need to do is go up here to this little down arrow and go to your transcription glossary, and you can add uncommon words to this list to increase the chances that they are transcribed accurately. So now anytime I say Descript, hopefully it has a better chance of knowing that I'm saying this as opposed to the letter D and then the word script. Now let me go over some basic editing. If you want to delete anything from the script, you highlight this. Again, I'll point out that it highlights everything down here on the timeline that I highlighted in the script. And if I hit delete, it automatically deletes it down there on the timeline and it deletes it on the script at the same time. If I click and drag here on the timeline, you can see that it highlights the words on the script. I hit delete there and it will automatically delete that from the script, what I deleted from the timeline. You do have manipulation of the playback speed up to three times faster. If you need to add gaps within the timeline, you could right click and insert gap clip and it will insert a gap right there. Alternatively, if you just wanted to add some text to the script and say you wanted to do some VO later or whatever that may be, you could just add that directly to the script. So if I type, it automatically starts adding space into the timeline for those words to be said. And everything you're looking at right now is in what you would call a composition. So I have a bunch of other compositions here where I broke up my edit and then I would copy them into my master comp right here, which is the video that you're actually viewing and I'm editing as I'm going. All of your raw media can be found right here in your media library. And there's also a search bar right here, which I just showed you where you could search for specific words and take the playhead right there. You could delete filler words and all that jazz. And another view that you're probably familiar with with other NLEs is the sequence view. So right here I have my video on top and then my audio on the bottom. And again, I want to point out here that you can see the words with the waveform on this file that I did already transcribe. And another common thing that you might want to do is drag other footage as B-roll pictures or maybe some music onto the timeline. To do that, I'll go over to my media library and here I have some music. I'll just drag it right onto the timeline and then it will pin it to your script. So I can switch where this is pinned on my script. I can move this wherever I want to. I'll hit play. Reading. So I read a lot growing up. And let's say I wanted to bring in another video on top of that. And you can see here how it would start to layer if you brought in pictures and other things of that nature. It pins to your script. So anytime you move it, it will move with the pin. Super intuitive. If you want to get rid of something, I'll just double click and delete it from the timeline. If you highlight your tracks over here, you have your cues and these are different effects that you can add. So right here, I could add a compressor or equalizer. If I click on a video clip, Right here, you can adjust the position, scale, opacity, and you can also easily add crossfades. So if I wanted to fade this up, I could do it right there. And if you wanted to do it to just the video or the audio, you could use those keyboard shortcuts or I could just make a crossfade like this. Super simple and easy to do. Two of the features that I use the most and the ones that you've already been looking at this entire video are the screen recording and the video recording from your webcam directly into the computer. With the screen recording, it puts you in this little circle. You can move that around however you want to. So I can be like over here, hey, or it could be right here, hey. Here are the parameters that you can adjust. Right now I am using a cam link with my high definition camera going into the computer, I am doing my audio through my Rodecaster Pro. With the camera, it's the same thing. What you saw in the beginning of the video where it was a full screen version of me was just me recording directly into the computer from my camera. I didn't have to use any SD cards or no transferring of my audio files or video files. Everything was ready to go once I hit the stop button to edit inside Descript, which is super powerful and an efficient way to work for some specific workflows. So let me hit record here and it is recording. This is an example of what this would look like if I was recording a video. So from this point, 
I'm gonna hit stop. You get a little thumbnail. You can view it in the browser. You could edit directly inside Descript, X this out, or you could delete it and just do a different one. I'm gonna view it in the browser so you can see what that looks like. And this part goes into the next feature that I love about Descript is that it's a cloud-based editor, meaning that all of the files that you bring into Descript are automatically going to be synced to the cloud. If I were to go onto my timeline and hit Command S, it says your changes are saved automatically. It's amazing, right? You can download the file, which will be the original file, or you could share it. And the ability to share your file with a link immediately after you've recorded it is where this efficient workflow would come in handy. And let's say you had your whole video that you just sat down, you hit record, and you talked about whatever it was. The moment you hit stop, it's going to upload to the cloud, and you can share this link with your editor. And from there, you could leave some comments at certain timestamps or do whatever you needed to, but that editor will now have that link. And if you were to click it, now you're probably seeing two of me on the screen, but all your editor would need to do is either right click here and save video as and grab the file. Or if they're already editing in Descript, you just click edit in Descript and share the project file with your editor. Super intuitive again for a collaborative workflow. Now, another awesome feature is that it will automatically transcribe text while you're talking doing a voiceover, as you can see here on the computer. Very neat. Um, you could also use this same feature that I'm using right now, recording directly onto a track to record a remote podcast. So right here, like I just showed you, this is track one and I have Zoom open with my sister uh, looking and if I go to the audio settings, my microphone input is the Rodecaster Pro. I'm automatically transcribing, but now I'm going to add a track. And with that track, I'm going to do computer audio. And here inside Zoom, I've set it up so it's going to my computer audio or same as system. And then I'm gonna to go to my computer audio on track two. I'm going to hit record. And Christina, can you please say something? Subscribe if you haven't already and smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't even tell her to say that. That was perfect. So that was been the uh, shortest Mercedes duo podcast. Uh, subscribe and like for more. I'll, I'll go ahead and hit stop. And as you can see, it has her audio on one track and my audio on a separate track. And like I showed you sequences before, if I hit shift command O down here, here's the multi-track of that podcast that we just recorded. Another easy task to do within Descript, if you haven't figured it out yet, is to do captions. And that's because, well, we've already made our transcript. So all we have to do is highlight our clips and I'm gonna go to this little plus sign, scroll down and do fancy captions. This will create a fancy captions clip right here. And here you can change the font, how it looks and so on and so forth. If I make them smaller, they just automatically resize within that box. They're being recorded in real time. How I'm pulling this off is I have a boom microphone right above me. That's how you would add captions within Descript. So if this video has piqued your interest in any way to try Descript, remember that there is a completely free version of the program and you can upgrade at any time. Just check it out in the link in my description below. Until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.